It's time for Rupert's Royal Roundup. Rupert's Royal Roundup. Sorry, Rupert, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I needed some light, light-heartedness and we jollity. Did. Yes. Well, I, I have taken matters into my own hands. Oh, I have sorry. a new picture for you. <laughs> do, oh, do I'll you? show you. Well, oh. I hope Tom is going to put that up right now. Has Tom? As, uh, you, you, Oh, go. I say. We can. Oh, I say. Yes, that's very aristocratic. I like I say. that. Where well, was, uh, where was that? Uh, that was done at Royal Ascot. The picture behind is my brother's Derby-winning horse, Motivator, for the Royal Ascot <laughs> Racing Club, and the uh, young lad is my son, who works uh, as a TV racing presenter. And we did a photo shoot ahead of this. I, I never thought at my age I'd ever be required to be a male model. But I was uh, for our friends at Faberbrook. So that's the reason that I'm promoting it in shock horror to get rid of the ruddy faced uh, picture that you've got now. So hopefully uh, that's the last time we see that picture that introduces me. Uh, on I, the I actually think you you look absolutely splendid in that photo. Uh, and, and actually, it's funny you mentioned Royal Ascot. I'm very lucky. I've been invited to Royal Ascot this year. I've never been very excited about the whole thing. Wait for a fitting <laughs> yesterday of my, oh. of my morning suit. Yes. Well, I hope you went to my friends at Faberbrook then. Anyway, says he getting in the plug. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Right. OK, so what have you got for us? Well, I think, uh, well, obviously it's Louis's birthday and the pictures. And Renee's. Have, uh, uh, well, happy birthday to... And Shakespeare's. And Shakespeare's. Uh, and Turner. Uh, uh, <laughs> indeed. So uh, there's a, it's a pretty good day uh, for the birthdays. But, uh, and obviously, I live quite near Stratford-upon-Avon, so uh, we've got lots of people running around in Elizabethan co costumes at the moment uh, <laughs> celebrating Shakespeare's birthday. But lovely picture of uh. Prince Louis in the garden in a wheelbarrow. Um, doesn't look as if um, he's been actually doing too much garden. He's been plonked on a bed of weeds by the looks of things, <laughs> but it's still a typically cheeky, chappy sort of picture of him. But more importantly, there's a sort of subplot going on, because yesterday we also get revealed that, that Meghan's been writing to the King uh, about all the issues. And, but w why is it suddenly coming out now that he she wrote to the king and that, that she wasn't happy with his replies allegedly um and all about the unconscious bias within the royal family it's coming out now we didn't see it in the next bit documentary harry's not referred to it and of course now we're less than two weeks away from the coronation so megan once again trying to make herself the story in this and sort of cast in as one of the reasons she's not here allegedly uh, coming to the coronation she wasn't happy with the replies well th this once again seems to be sort of deflecting tactics and just stirring once again the, the sort of sense of animosity between her and the rest of the family mm. i mean it is extraordinary that that, that we're about to celebrate a, a, a momentous occasion of course the coronation of king charles iii and of course Meghan just has to be there doesn't she she just has to keep banging on front page of front the telegraph page. yesterday i know massive picture of her and i just thought can't you just for a moment butt out well and this this is the problem with harry coming over why can't he in a way just say let's just take the air out of the balloon here mm. and just let the coronation happen happen if we've got issues further down the line but on behalf of her fa his father her father-in-law who led her down the yeah, aisle indeed. let's not forget back in uh, when they got married and was prepared to help her yet here again she's deflecting attention away now clearly families have issues we we're not no one's saying that no family is without problems. We know that's the issue. But clearly, let's just try and focus on the coronation. And she wrote, and she wrote while well, the Queen was alive. And that's hence one of the things about um, recollections may vary, was mm. one of the, the, the Queen's <laughs> famous line about brilliant, all these allegations line, of, of it, uh, it was, uh, and that's uh, the thing, recollections do vary. And this is what's frustrating the royal family when they see Harry come out with the things that he's come out, there's sometimes there's a sense of bewilderment mm. um, because they don't see it like that. Now, clearly, if Harry is clearly sensitive and has got, you know, found things difficult at times, yet he's even, of course, said, you know, he thinks that uh, uh, George's younger siblings w will find it difficult being the spares, and he's got opinions on that. Well, I'm pretty sure 
uh, Kate and William will be doing their level best to make sure that they don't feel excluded. It's always going to be difficult when the elder brother and the way it works is always going to just, he's going to get the top job. You aren't going to be in a sort of mm. slightly di more difficult position, but it behoves the parents to try and create that. Now, that may have been one of the problems for Harry, that when Diana died, it was quite hard for the king. He was having to sort of regroup himself, and obviously he's had to rehabilitate not only himself in the eyes of the British public, but he's also got to bring the public along to... Um, Un, you know, now Camilla is our queen to bring that sort of come, the public with this new situation. A lot was going on, and clearly Harry at times feels that he was neglected and not able to feel part of that arrangement. Mm -hmm. Although you would have saw before he met Meghan that he was very supportive and supported by not only his father but by his brother as well. Yeah, I, I think the whole thing's desperately tragic. A any gossip, by the way, on the coronation? I mean, I, I know that they've been rehearsing in the middle of the night and uh, <laughs> here in yeah. London and uh, also, I mean, there's talk about disruption from various environmental uh, groups. Of course, they say they're going to throw fireworks at the horses, which will spook them, could well kill the horses, could kill people who are here to celebrate a, a brilliant occasion. Any gossip? Well, I, I mean, obviously, uh, protests at events now is all the rage. Obviously, I was at the Grand National. We even had a protest yesterday at the Scottish National uh, ahead of that race, right? but it didn't delay the race. Um, but we've obviously seen uh, protests in London. There's talk of the, the London Marathon organisers working with protesters uh, to make sure there was no disruption and there's no disruption to the London Marathon today. Clearly, it's an issue because how do you make sure if someone is standing in the crowd and then wants to do something, it's going to be very difficult. But if a horse spooks in one of those processions mm. and Ro Royal Horse Artillery or one of the household cavalry spooks, it won't be, you know, it would be dangerous. Uh, and suddenly you might have a loose horse charging down the mile and that could pr really create a health and safety issue and probably exceed what the mm. demonstrators are hoping to achieve if something like that, someone gets seriously injured as a result of what they do. Absolutely right. And of course, it will be quite a stunning day, actually. Mm. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I will be in my top hat and tails to come will full you? circle again. And will obviously you? I'll be able to, yeah, well, I've, I think I've been instructed. Um, oh, so so are you reporting for us? Yes, indeed I am. Um, I, I've been given some instructions that I shall be uh, on a rooftop somewhere near Westminster well, Abbey, I believe. Well, I, I've also received some instructions which I will share with you later in, in, in the week. Well, I'm having more instructions later in the week. So that's very yeah. exciting, Rupert. You'll get your top hat and tails out and you'll look resplendent, I'm sure. Uh, I will do my best, um, uh, as long as I haven't eaten and drunk too much in the intervening <laughs> period, and suddenly it doesn't fit anymore. Well, just in case, thank you very much indeed, Rupert, just in case Tom doesn't change the picture, I think we need to do it at least one more time. Thank you very much, that was indeed Rupert's Royal Roundup. <laughs> Rupert's Royal Roundup. <laughs> Uh, he really hates that picture. I love that. That's why I have to keep showing it. Brilliant, brilliant. <laughs>